Firefighters at Houston Firehouse 51 have been through a lot together. Four years ago, they lost colleagues in the Southwest in fire, and now they're facing another difficult time. One of them is battling cancer. Tonight, that firefighter is learning he will not battle that disease alone. Channel 2's Chip Brewster live at Firehouse 51 with that moving show of solidarity. Chip? Yeah, good evening. It's a show of solidarity you may not notice if you saw these guys out on the job, thanks to the gear, but that's okay. We've got you covered. Most of the firefighters at Houston Station 51 are sporting the same hairstyle. It could be just a fashion thing, sure, but these clean tops are actually a sign of something deeper. I would put my life on the line for them, and they would do the same for me, and I think that's, that's why they, they decided to do this for me. About two months ago, fellow firefighter Mark Herring was uh, diagnosed with cancer, my, an all too common event in this field. We have two active members right now that are battling cancer. And we've had another member that has have, you know, had cancer. It's because of the line of work. It's because of the carcinogens that we're faced with. Yet that same line of work comes with coworkers who are more like family. One of your brothers is, is going through something huge like that. You know, we're going to make sure they know they're not going through it alone. That led to, you guessed it, a party oh, with yeah. some clippers. The guys wanted to support me, me losing my hair because of my chemo. And while hairless heads may not be the cure for cancer, the cue ball camaraderie could make all the difference. That positive outlook is something that, you know, you need when you're going through a, a life changing event like that. Your mind has a lot to do with your diagnosis too. And I mean, if you don't stay in a uplifting, happy mood, you could turn, I mean, things could go wrong for you. Plus, he's not the only one benefiting from a happier mood. I'm a little challenged up top, so I sort of like the, you know, the slick top. 